guys, so it is Happy Honeybee here, and today you might notice that it looks a little bit different on my screen right now, and that's because we are underwater. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build like the underwater room kind of area, or just make like, or like kind of build stuff underwater in Bloxburg, and it's actually like really cool. So if you can, uh, as you can see, like I have this little room with some walls and <laughs> there's like a bed and a lamp and there's like, like this little um, desk area like for makeup. So as you can see, you can like literally use this stuff underwater and it's so cool. It's just like in a pool. So yeah, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. If you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you love Roblox, you'll definitely love all the other videos on our channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified whenever you upload a video, then make sure you hit that notification bell so you can probably be one of the first people to see our new videos. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first off, you want to go to build mode. Now, I also, um, also, I want to mention this. You need the, like, the basement game pass. Like, let me show you guys it. You need the basement game pass just because that's how you're going to place the stuff. So, yeah, like, you need to be able to do this so you can, like, place the stuff, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. But first off, you're going to want to actually, like, place a pool because you're going to be building it in the pool. So you want to go to pools and then... You want to do the deep pool because I tried the classic pool before and it's not deep enough to place stuff. So that doesn't work. You want to do the deep pool and you just want to get the pool. Now, I'm going to make mine quite small, but you can make this however big or however small you want. It's completely up to you. But for this video, let's see. I think, um, hmm. Let's see. I think that I'm just going to do a 3x3. Three three. So, yeah. So, we still have some money to do some decorations. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do it into... Or, no. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Because I think I'm going to have enough. So, let, I'm going to make it like that. There we go. So, now I have 6,000 decorate, which is enough, I think. So, now, as you can see, we have a pool. So, if we go out of build mode, we can just see it's a regular pool. And there's nothing in it. So, it's just a regular pool. And there's no walls or anything. So... Now, this is where the basement game pass is going to come in handy. So, you want to basically, you want to go onto this menu, like the little side bar thing. I don't know what it's called. You click the arrow down here. And as you see now, like, you can kind of, like, zoom into the pool and stuff. So, you can now build some walls. So, if you want to add, like, wallpaper to the sides, you can just build some walls. And you literally just kind of treat it like you would as if you're building on like the regular floor so as you can see since we have the basement game pass it thinks it's a basement so like you can see it thinks it's the basement it's kind of confusing but once you try it, you should like understand but basically it thinks it's the basement so it's letting us build but it's kind of like colliding with the pool now i'm not sure if you need the the object collisions game pass like let me show you guys what i mean i'm not sure if you need the advanced placing you might but i'm pretty sure you can do it without it but I, I don't know, because, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, you might be able to do it without, you might have to do it with, but yeah, I know you definitely need the basement game pass, but I'm not sure about the advanced placing, but you shouldn't need any other ones besides those. But anyways, you can now place the walls, and there we go. So, now we have the walls, and now we can just color them however you want. Again, it's all up to you, you can make it however you want, I'm just showing you how to, like, do this. So, and this is why I recommend doing, like, the walls first, because we're going to have to, like, change something in a minute. So, yeah, so for this, I think we're going for, like, kind of, like, a purple theme. So, I'm going to do the lavender color, and I think for the wall texture, I'm going to do... That's pretty cute, but so are these. <laughs> um, let me see quickly. I think I'm just going to do a basic kind of... Well, not basic. Let me just do this one, okay? We're going to do that one, and then let's just paint the rest of these walls so they're all the same. So, now... So now you're probably, you want to add furniture, right? Or you want to like start adding some stuff. So let's say you want to add a chair, right? You're going to notice, why doesn't it let me place this? And that's one of the issues I ran into when I first tried doing this. So you want to just click that or like click this to disable the roof. So now it thinks that you're just in the basement, right? It doesn't really know that you're in the pool. Like it's kind of confusing, but here you can kind of see like the pool floor. And it's kind of like, okay, where you're kind of in the pool. But now it's kind of like, oh, you're just in the basement. If that makes any sense. And you also might want to add a light. So um, let me quickly add a light. Um, so we're going to add a light quickly. You can delete this when you're done. Or wait, no, I can't add that yet. <laughs> I'm going to add a just a ceiling lamp if it's going to let me. Yep, okay. It should let me. And I'm going to quickly just change this to a brighter color or a brighter light color, I guess. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, now we can actually see. So, as you can see, the things that were in the basement. So, you want to get, you want to go to build, you want to click floor. You want to, like, make sure it's on, like, the manual placement. And you want to just click on the corners of your room. And again, this will depend whether you're making it bigger, smaller, what size you're doing. And you want to do that and you want to place the floor. And then now you have a floor, so you can... Now, I'm, it doesn't really matter what you're going to, like, what you're going to, what the floor is going to look like. So, like, for example, let's say I want to have a yellow floor, right? But then once you actually go to the pool, you can't even see it. So, it doesn't matter what the floor looks like because the floor is just going to be, like, the default one of the pool. But anyways, you want to stay in, like, the new roof menu so it thinks you're in the basement. And now you can add, you know, now you can add, like, chairs and stuff or whatever you want. So, let's say I want this to be, like, a, a bedroom, right? Let's say we want this to be, like, a mermaid bedroom. So, let's go get a bed. So let's say I want this, hmm, uh, the canopy single bed. So now you can see you can place stuff. So you can just place stuff like you normally would, like that. Let's say I want the bed there. And you can literally just place stuff like you normally would. Actually, wait, I might move this over, I think. Like there, actually, yes, we have more room. And let's say I want to add a table too. So we can go to tables and we can add a kind of like a bedside table. And let's say you want to even add like a lamp. So let's go to lighting and you can choose again. This is all up to you. Let's say you want to make like a like a like a, like a, um, a modern themed kitchen underwater. Then go ahead and do that. Like you can place down basically anything. Like um, there might be some stuff you might not be able to do, but I'm pretty sure you can like place down like pretty much everything. So like I can place down a fridge and stuff, a stove. You know, you can basically place down anything from what um I've like done. <laughs> Anyways, you want to get you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna add a penguin lamp because why not? I mean why can't mermaids love penguins and now like let's say you want like a desk with like a computer let's say you have like a gamer mermaid <laughs> so you can get this and you can get whatever desk you want again this is all up to you i'm just showing you how you can do this or this is an example and then let's say we want to get like an electronics so let's go here and let's get hmm uh wait where are the computers i forgot honestly uh where did the computers go Hmm, uh, I'm sure you go to all and click computers or laptop or whatever it's called. Okay, here we go. Let's get a laptop. Oh, that's expensive though. Let me see if there's any cheaper one because I don't want to spend all my money on one of these. Okay, let's get a, a pairing tosh old computer. I think this was called. Okay, <laughs> let's get one of these computers. Then see, literally, you can put like pretty much anything. Okay, so like, and then let's say we add a chair, right? And then you can go, you can go and even add decorations like on the shelf. So like, let's say you want to add like a plate here. Sure, why not? Let's see. Uh, you can also add like I'm pretty sure books. Again, it won't fit in the shelf right here, but like you see, it goes on the desk. And we can add. Let's see. Um, oh, we can add like a star decoration on the wall. So we can have a cute star decoration. We got some post-it notes, you know, it literally is just like a regular room when you're in this mode. So you can basically do anything from what I know. And see, we can even have some painting, you know, again, <laughs> you probably might want to do it a little bit differently, like according to your theme. We can add a fruit bowl over here, you know, it, you can really like do anything. And we, and now, so for the floor, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you know how you like you can't you can't customize the floor because it's look like that. So what you want to do is you want to again go into the no roof mode. You can just place down carpets. So wait, I'm not gonna I'm gonna get the simple carpet. You can place down carpets, just like uh, oh no I don't want to do that no no <laughs> gotta redo that. Okay you can just place down carpets like you normally would, and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next in a second. So just place down carpets right, and then you can get the paintbrush tool. And you can basically make these look like floors. So let's say I want like a like a like a stone or marble floor, I guess. So let's get that, and then we can change this to marble. So let's get the marble. There we go. Actually, no. I'm going to do like a hmm, uh, what's it called? A uh, the I'm gonna actually do a wood floor. So you want to get whatever you want to like use for your floor and just put it on there and then you can get whatever color you want I'm just gonna do some brown wood like that why not <laughs> and then you can just paint all these other ones like that so yeah and then it's basically gonna be floor now the textures might be a little bit glitchy because like as you can see in here as here so you want to just 
probably place them better than I did. I kind of made mine overlap, but you know, you can you can change the floor. Like it depends on the texture. But anyways, yeah, and you can change the color of all these. Like I can make this purple. I can make this green. You know, I mean, you can literally do whatever you want. I can make this like a pink penguin lamp. And then once you're all done, like you don't have to have this light here. You can just remove it. So you can remove the light that you had at the top. If let me, if I can even do that. Uh, let me see. I think, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly remove the light from the top. And if you have like a, some sort of lamp, it should, yeah, see, it should be bright enough for, like, see, there we go. So this is what it looks like kind of like no water. This is what it looks like kind of with the water. So, yeah. Oh, wait. How come the carpets did not work? They worked on my other build. Hold on, let me, let me quickly see. Hold on. They worked on this one, didn't they? Or no, did they not? And I'm just like, Never mind, I guess the carpets didn't work. I guess my brain made that up. <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind. Don't do the carpets, but I guess, guess the floor just has to be left like that. But anyways, I guess, like, I don't know why I didn't remember that. Oh, okay, anyways, everything else, though. So as you can see, we have a, like, mermaid room. And you have to swim around because it's underwater. But you can actually, like, go on the bed and stuff. Like, I can sleep in the bed and it actually refills your needs. Like, my needs are already at almost at 100 for everything. You can turn on, you can turn off the lamp. You know, you can, you can even go on the computer. I don't want to change the picture. Um, <laughs> let me quickly go sit. Okay, there we go. See, we're sitting. We can play a game. You know, it literally is like a functioning room or whatever. You can probably even make like a whole underwater house. I'm not sure if you can add doors, but I'm sure you can probably like do something similar to that. Like I can get fruit if I want. Like I can take some grapes. So yeah, that's, that's how you do that. And I think it's super cool. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. And um, again, this one, I didn't really like try to do like a color coordination thing. I, like, if I were to actually build, like, a room, I'd probably make it more like this one. But, yeah. But, anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, if you enjoyed, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you love Roblox, don't feel love all the video, other videos on this channel. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Anyways, have an amazing day. Anyways, bye, you guys.